Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Combat Man and welcome back to my channel and to another MK11 tutorial. And today what I've got for you guys is another training video. I had not done these in a while, but I'm doing it now for three characters. And for those of y'all who are on Instagram, um this is mainly for you guys who requested a Funjin practice tutorial video. And I'm actually gonna do it now, but it will be posted on Instagram and to my channel, of course, so that y'all can see how to use Funjin if you don't know already. But if you guys love Funjin so much and y'all really want to know how to use them, please make sure you smash this like so that way you'll be able to see this amazing Funjin tutorial video. And also subscribe so that way you'll not miss any more of my MK11 Aftermath latest content and to also learn to be one with the wind. With that, that said, let's get right into this. Okay. Fujin. Fujin. Cross Blast, Tornado, Wind Kicks, Hallowing Winds, Cross Wind, Bending Wind, Whisked Away, Crushing Zepilar, Typhoon Release. And those are all of Funjin's special moves, I presume. So, we're gonna start with Crossbow Blast. And as I'm checking out these moves, I'm gonna be telling y'all what to do. In case y'all are not familiar with um, buttons on PlayStation. Funjin has lots of options to control space at mid-range. He can use his command of the wind to redirect his attacks, or, cre or create gusts of air that can pull his opponent into his ideal range. Funjin's crossbow blast fires a high projectile in a straight line toward the opponent, in this case it's Raiden. So what you want to do is just go back and forward and press box like that Funjin can spend half of his offensive gauge to aim his crossbow blast up or down firing a mid projectile that will ruckochet sorry if I mispronounced that to hit different parts of the arena so like that you just have, it's the same move, but really you have to press down. Funjin can amplify any version of crossbow blast to fire a second shot that can be aimed straight up or down. Amplifying crossbow blast after aiming up or down is an effective way to control space, but it will spend Funjin's entire offensive gauge. So basically you have to amplify it twice. Alright, next is the Tornado. Tornado is a mid-attack with long active frames that has limited horizontal range, but it can hit a large vertical space above and below Funjin. This attack can launch an airborne opponent for a juggle combo, but it's unsafe on block. So that's a disadvantage if you try to block this move. Fungin can direct himself backwards or forward during Tornado to extend the attack's range. So, basically I think you just have to amplify it and then use the arrows to just direct where his wind will go. So like this for example. Wind Kicks is a multi-hit, which is my favorite so far for Fungin, mid-attack that moves Fungin upwards and forward as he kicks. Its quick startup makes, makes it uh, useful for punishing attacks or catching an opponent that retreats with a jump, but it's easily punished on miss or block. I love the skits. <laughs> I really do. Fujin can amplify wind kicks 
after a successful hit to extend the attack, daring additional damage, and pushing the opponent toward the corner. This attack is effective as a combo ender. As in sword. Howling Wind starts with two quick mid attacks with good range. Fujin can continue into a spinning sword attack that pushes the opponent back on hit, but he can be punished if the attack is blocked. See how it's shown in the demo first. Wait, I was doing that. Why is it not working? not working. Why is it not working? I'm doing the move. Crosswind is a major, made. I'm sorry. Crosswind is a mid attack with slower startup and good range that can pull in an opponent that's just outside of its hit area. This safe attack is good for controlling space in neutral situations. So basically, just forward two. Fujin can overcome Crosswind into. Tailwind to deal additional damage and switching sides with the opponent. Tailwind is safe on block unless the opponent can flawless block the attack. Bendwind is a mid projectile that. Well, <laughs> okay. Bending Wind is a mid projectile attack that can pull in opponents from a significant distance. This attack can be cancelled into special moves like Tornado or Wind Kick to start a combo. Bending Wind can be punished if blocked. So basically, it will just start up a combo just like Tornado or Wind Kick. Or it can just end it Actually, no, we'll just end the combo. Fungin can aim Bending Wind closer to hit nearby opponents. Fujin can continue 
bending wind into whirling wind to deal additional damage and switch sides with the opponent. Whirling wind Whirlwind is safe on block unless the opponent can flawless block that attack or the attack. Oh hold on. There we go. Whisk wind starts an advancing low attack with great range that can slide under high attacks and projectiles. Funjin can continue into a mid attack immediately or after a short delay to mix up his timing against a blocking opponent. And fun fact guys, if you are trying to do a crushing blow, the requirement is to have the second hit only. So you just basically have to miss the first hit, but then the second hit, if you get the opponent with just the second hit, then the crushing blow will come out. Alright, anyway, crushing Zinpepar, or whatever that is supposed to mean, begins with a with an advancing mid attack with great range followed by an elder head that's safe on block. The last attack can trigger a crushing blow if it hits twice in a row. Yeah, so just like that last move, if you get only the second hit, a crushing blow will happen. Alright, last but not least, Typhoon Release. Typhoon Release starts with a high attack that can be cancelled into Tornado to start a juggle combo. The second hit is a mid that can force airborne opponents into a standing state and gives Fujin flame frame advantage on hit. Both attacks are safe on block. Continue Typhoon release into Blow Oi for a two hit mid attack that has frame advantage on block. Typhoon release can be punished by a fast attack if the opponent can flawless block the first hit. And that's it. And when you are done with the tutorial, you should get a Fujin skin called Dark Cyclone. So those of y'all who want to use Fujin, once again, this is for you. And guys, I think that is it. Let's go back to the tutorial menu. Well, you guys, that is it for the Funjin tutorial. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope it really helped y'all out t to learn how to use Funjin. Believe me, I'm still learning how to use him, too. And I'm actually doing pretty well with him so far. And I'm just glad another round brought him back. T so that way I can finally play him for the first time. But anyway, that's it. Um, if y'all enjoyed the Funjin tutorial, and if y'all are so hyped to use him, Please drop a like if it helped you all out, and also, if y'all want to see more Fungin action in MK11 Aftermath, please smash that subscribe button so that way y'all can get as much Fungin content as y'all want, and also, put down in the comments to see how much you're enjoying Fungin right now in MK11 Aftermath. And with that said, it's Comment Man sign off, great to be a command, it's my honor to entertain y'all, as an amazing YouTuber, by the way, tomorrow my YouTube channel is going to become two years old, so feel free to say happy birthday to my YouTube channel. It's been out for two years since 2018, and I'm honored to be using this channel to entertain you guys. But, <laughs> can't wait it's for my channel to age up. Anyway, it's coming and sign off. Great to be an amazing combat. Amazing channel turning two years old tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time. 
Stay safe. Peace out, homies. Peace.